Well, we've loaded the Clipper 70 behind to take it to Trafalgar Square, um, taking it by the, by the M3, M27, M3, M25, I think it's a bit tricky. The biggest challenges with a boat this size into the centre of London is actually the first 10 kilometres, it's getting it out of Southampton, getting it to the motorway network, and then the last 20 kilometres, hour and a half maybe, to get it into central London. We've got the one-way system at Trafalgar Square, we've got to do part of it back to front, but we'll have police air escorts and our own escort vans for that. So I do like a bit of a challenge. This morning, the lorry uh, left Sa uh, Saxon Wharf in Southampton. Then uh, this evening at around 10 o'clock, she joined the M25 and currently is coming around the, towards the A13 before she joins her final kind of stretch of the journey as she comes in through central London, up past Westminster, Big Ben, um, and the final stretch due to arrive here at Trafalgar Square at midnight tonight. As you can imagine, with such a public place, there's lots of um, form filling and uh, ticking of boxes and things like making sure you can see the trackways gone down in the background to protect the flagstones that are in Trafalgar Square. Um, and then the big thing is the logistics of actually getting a 70-foot boat with a six-foot bow sprit here uh, from Southampton. Yeah, it's great to be here, um, job done, all parked up, nice and safe and sound, no marks, no damage, that's all that matters to us really, moving boats about. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the naming of the yacht Great Britain. One, two, three, I name this boat <laughs> Great Britain. A few years ago, probably in about 2010, we started on a process of looking to see how we could use the great events of last summer to market this country. Out of that came something called the Great Campaign. The Clipper Around the World Yacht Race is a really important part of, of that process. We've named this fabulous new boat here today. That will be part of the great campaign, marketing this country as it goes around the world, winning business, winning contracts, and hopefully winning the race. Clipper Race is unique. It's the only race that's open to amateurs. And it's one that's been tying up for a while, been tying with business so businesses can use the race for themselves. So in a way, we've become a sort of mobile trade exhibition that goes into ports. And the great advantage we've got is when you put 12 of these boats coming into a port, you don't miss it. People notice it. And we work very closely with the Foreign Office, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, with all the ambassadors, consuls, high commissioners. So when we go into a port, they've already set up meetings for businesses who've got involved in the race. So what we're doing is using a British event to promote Britain around the world, try and get more business because we're a trading nation. We need to sell abroad. 
It is a really important sailing competition in its own right and this is a great boat to be undertaking that race. But there's a sort of second purpose behind, behind all of this, which is an opportunity to show off the very best of this country as the boat goes around the world. It's been sponsored by some great British names, uh, it's crewed by some great British names, it's got British people on it, and it's a fantastic opportunity to build on some of what happened last year through the Jubilee in the Olympics, to take that out around the world, some of the great cities around the world where this boat is going to be calling in.